What's up, guys? We're doing another video. Today, we have, in my opinion, the top five front court dynamic duos in the NBA. So, I mean, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, before I start this video, I want to tell you that there's not going to be any small forwards for front court. Like, I know front court is small forward, power forward, and center. In one of them, there's going to be a small forward, but he also plays power forward. So, I counted him. Like, LeBron James' Kevin Love is a good front front court, but LeBron plays small forward and Kevin Love plays power forward, so that wouldn't really work, because I'm not counting small forward, so I'm just doing power forward and center, so it's basically the top five big men duos. So, let's get started. I think number five should be Kevin Love and Tristan Thompson just because when they're healthy and when they play the starting lineup, one of them can drop 20 and the other one can drop 12 and 10. And, I mean, on to the next one. Next up, I think Christoph Porzingis and Ennis Kanter. Just because Chris Rodriguez, when he was healthy this year, he averaged 23 points per game, as you saw on the screen. And Ennis Kanter averaged a triple-double. And, I mean, they're really decent players, and, I mean, I can't wait to watch them next season when Chris Oscar is this ACL deals. So, yeah, on to number three. Okay, number three on the list, I have Jermichael Green and Marcus Saul. I know you're going to be like, how is Jermichael Green on this list? He's not even that good. He actually played really good this season. He averaged 10 and 8, and Marcus Saul averaged 17, 8 and 4, like, did Marcus Saul things, so I mean they were really good. And on to the next one. Number two, I think is Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond. I thought they were number one for a little bit, but then I changed it to number two. So I found another front court duo that I completely forgot about. And there was a really, really hard decision between number one and number two. But I mean, if you got Blake Griffin averaging 20, almost 22 points a game, and you had a center, a mostly rebounding center, who had just 15 points and 16 rebounds, and he's averaging three assists, he's playing really well in the court. And it mostly Blake Griffin, because Blake Griffin is scoring 21 points a game. So, on to number one. Okay, for number one, I have Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. You guys probably saw this coming in, since the title, because I mean, Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins is probably the best duo in the whole entire league. And, I mean, if you got two players averaging over 25 points, that's all I gotta say. I mean, and then you have one MVP candidate and another person is averaging 13 and 5 as a center. So yeah, that's it for the video, and peace out.